how to inflation proof your life. It's kind of a porn coaching video guys because right now the economy is in the uh, crapper and things are super expensive as I predicted things would be uh, about four years ago when I did probably the only political video I did about uh, which candidate I support and why or which party I support and why even though both of them are pretty bad. Um, <laughs> one party is constantly trying to grow the size of government and one size one part the other party is trying to decrease the size of government but uh, regardless that was the only political video I did but I did predict gas prices food prices basic living expenses rent housing prices would pretty much go through the roof if this one party got in because that's what always happens when this party gets in right um, and I I'm an independent by the way always have to tell you guys that but uh, the purpose of this coaching video is to tell you guys um, how to inflation proof your life to where inflation does not affect you I mean it's gonna affect you on some level but it won't affect you on a level that it's affecting most people out there <laughs> most people out there uh, including family members of mine who voted that way that are now complaining about the same things I warned them would happen if they voted that way uh, first I just said I, I'm I would just step out of it right and just not support either party um, I really wish there was a strong independent party. I really do. Um, yeah, I just really do. I really do. Uh, but regardless, the purpose of this coaching video is to teach you how to inflation-proof your life um, to where none of these rising prices and gas, chicken, steak, <laughs> rent, uh, or uh, interest rates affect you, right? And instead, you could actually play upon them. Right. Um, thanks to rising interest rates, I've been able to stick a great deal of money into uh, just basic bank accounts that are paying well over 5%, and now I'm earning 5% on my money. Uh, I took it out of the stock market that wasn't doing anything, and I just put in these bank accounts. Uh, so, <laughs> And a lot of people think that's really slow. That's like tortoise mentality. But hey, as they say, the tortoise beats a hare. Right? Tortoise beats a hare. So, I mean, I'm technically earning well over six figures just on the interest alone of 5%, I, I mean, doing nothing. I mean, I'm earning more from my interest than I ever did from any of my corporate jobs, which is funny, because I've been able to put a big chunk of change into these banks, uh, which you should do too, by the way, if you have a big load of cash or, you know, even a decent amount of cash just sitting around, man. Put it in a bank that's paying over 5%, take advantage of the interest rates right now, because they're not gonna be over 5% for that much longer. Um, I believe high interest rates will be here to stay, but will they be over 5% a year from now? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to bet on it, but I mean, I if I were you, um, I would take advantage of that while it's still here. Um, I know, you know, I mean, I have dividend stocks that are paying a lot more than 5%, but thing with any, any you know, any stock, whether it's dividend or non-dividend stock is... Uh, there's no guarantee, right? Stocks go up and down, up and down. But if your money is safely in a bank account, getting 5%, you could sleep at night, right? You're still getting that money no matter what. So each year, um, I'm still earning well, well over six figures from my money just sitting in some of these accounts, 5% accounts. Um, not all of it, but much of it sitting in these 5% accounts. I'm earning well, well over than um, what most people make, right? Doing nothing, doing nothing, right? Thanks to high inflation. I mean, that's one thing I knew I was going to take advantage of. That's why I wanted to sit on um, some liquid cash. Like once the other party took office in 2020, I, I, I wasn't like, oh my God, screw them. You know, I, I don't get into these emotional battles politically because you just we just can't control that. But I do start setting myself up financially based on, depending on what party is in power. You know, so the party in power I knew was going to uh, cause inflation, right? I knew they were going, to, I knew what was going to happen. You know, I'm not saying Trump was perfect because he did some things that are causing a little bit of the pain right now. Not a lot, but I mean, he did some things that I wasn't a fan of where he dropped the interest rate to near zero, started printing, turned the money printers on. That's going to cause inflation, right? So it kind of started there. However, when the next administration came in, they just escalated it. Right, like, yep, let's triple down on this and uh, let's uh, balloon the size of government and let's start passing all these stimulus programs and start spending your money like drunken sailors. And they did that and now everything is like 400% cheaper. I mean, they're talking about how 
like, oh, gas is only up 30, 40%, which is already high, right? No, it's up like 400%. I'm in California. I remember when gas in 2020 was two bucks a gallon, even less than two bucks a gallon. Uh, now, gas is over six bucks a gallon. So that is not no 48% jump. That's a that's a, like a 300% jump in itself, in itself. Okay, cost of eggs through the roof. I remember, you know, because part of my, my diet is steak and eggs, right? I like spinach, steak, and eggs most of the week. I give myself a break on the weekend, like Saturday and Sunday. I might go to Chili's or something, get bottomless chips and salsa, or get a plate of nachos, whatever I want. Um, however, Monday through Friday, I'm eating steak and eggs and spinach. Uh, the price of eggs have gone through the roof. Because <laughs> the place, the restaurants I go to that make my omelets um, was once like six or seven bucks for the omelet is now like 13 to 14 dollars for the omelet you know i mean it's insane right but why is this happening uh it's because of uh inflation where does inflation come from by the way quick lesson where do you got where does inflation come from guys it only comes from one place man inflation comes from one place government spending that's how we get inflation too much government spending reckless government spending right too many of these stimulus programs. We need to stop the stimulus programs, right? Because, yeah, I mean, when they were passing out that COVID money and people were getting like, what, $1,500 checks, I, I, I laughed because I'm like, yeah, th this is the, you know, this is the uh, bait and switch, right? They will give you $1,500 in free, mo so supposedly free money, right? Uh, however, over the next three to four years, uh, this will cost you about four times out of that amount they're giving you. So there's a little bait and switch. Like here's a dollar right now, but it's gonna cost you $10 in the long term to take this dollar from me. You're gonna be like, no, I'm gonna owe you 10 if you give me $1 now, yup. You can say no, right? So um, how do you inflation proof your life? How do you get beyond this to where it doesn't affect you? Well, you gotta make some money. <laughs> you gotta make some money. Um, beyond that, what can you do if you don't have money right now? Uh, you could stop voting for people, uh, you know, I'm not just talking about the president, but even people on a local level, like I'm in California. California is a complete wreck. We have the highest taxes in the world. Um, we have the highest gas prices. I mean, we have the t highest taxes in the country, I should say. We have the highest gas prices in the country. Um, we have the highest everything in the country. Uh, how Highest housing prices in the country. Um, all of the above, right? Because our state's a mess. And sadly, I mean, that is the most loyal party ever. They will just keep voting them in office regardless of how much it hurts them, regardless of how much they are hurting themselves. I mean, I again, I have family members like this, you do too, where no matter how bad they're hurting, they're complaining about gas prices, they're complaining that things need to change, they will still vote the same people in. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, it, it you know, it should not affect you to the point where it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's going to change your lifestyle. I mean, there are ways to inflation proof your life to, uh, just, again, it starts with your voting habits, starts there right on local level. Um, but also, you know, things that are within your control, within your immediate control, you should be doing right. The fact that, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the interest rates are 5%, you should absolutely be taking care of taking advantage of that if you have some cash laying around, right? If you had some cash you don't need and it's just sitting in your regular like crap ass, well, don't use Wells Fargo. <laughs> if you have Wells Fargo, get rid of them, please. If you have Bank of America, get rid of them, right? You go with an internet bank, okay? Go with an online bank. Even if you're old school, it, it'll be fine. Just stick with an online bank or, you know, go to a credit union even that's paying a high interest rate. Don't go with Wells Fargo or B of A. Um, I have Chase, right? I use Chase, but that's just to pay bills. That's just because it's easy to write checks and pay bills, you know? And anytime I need to make a big purchase, I do use Chase. I just transfer the money in there and then I make the purchase, right? Like when I bought my Lamborghini, I just transferred it into my Chase, wrote the check, made the purchase, and then the money's out of there. I don't keep anything in there, right? <laughs> right, I don't keep anything in that account because it doesn't pay anything, right? This is why you need to go with like an internet bank that's paying a higher interest because they don't have physical branches, right? Some do, but many don't. But you'll get a much higher interest rate. Yeah, I mean, you're you're uh, you're gonna get five percent on your money, 
and you're not doing anything without money anyway. So if you have savings, stash it in there for now. Uh, outside of that, um, you shouldn't be taking on debt that you don't need, right? If you don't have the money to buy a car right now, don't buy a car. Um, don't do anything extravagant until you know you have some savings right you have something built up and that's a mistake a lot of people make is they did they just buy things that they can't afford I right? don't buy things you can't afford um, I mean right, right now is a really fabulous time to start a business even if you want to start a business now is a great time to start a business if I didn't have my hands full with my business and the other businesses I bought and you know over the years as this business grew uh, I would probably be starting another business right now, but I'm like, I'll leave it to you tycoons to start a business or start a side gig, something else that can bring in additional income so that you're not hurting as bad right now. Um, next year, we're gonna have a change in leadership, hopefully, right? Uh, I mean, just somebody, right? Just not them, not them, right? Not the establishment. I mean, anybody who's establishment including establishment Republicans are bad news because they're just gonna do the same thing, right? They're just gonna keep increasing the size of government. And as I told you guys, the government is in our lives way too much as it is, way too much, right? They are in our lives in every aspect. We cannot make a move with consulting them. And that is not how the founding fathers envisioned the country becoming, right? We never envisioned the country becoming like this, where government is in our lives every single day. So it's just ludicrous to me why you would want to vote in anybody who want, who's claiming they're going to make the government bigger. That means they're going to be in your life more. No, we don't want that. We want them smaller. We want them as small as possible, right? We want them, we want them out of our lives for Pete's sakes. I mean, right now there's a housing crisis. Housing has gone up over at least 40%, you know, especially here in California, right? Um, Many of my, uh, you know, many of my relatives like who don't live in California. When I show them my house, uh, they're 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 really not that impressed because they're like, oh, you're doing well, but your your house is pretty decent size. It's you know, nothing nothing like you would see in a movie. No, but if you look at the price of my house, you go, whoa, you know, why is your house so expensive? Because uh, we're in California, right? So I mean, even a shack in California. I kid you not. They were selling a shack in a crap, like dangerous part of town that was literally held together with like, I mean, wood from the 1950s. This place was disgusting. That thing was going for a million dollars and it sold. <laughs> One million dollars, <laughs> people were lining up to buy that shack. Uh, very sad, very pathetic. But there's a housing crisis right now, right? Uh, why aren't builders building 24 seven? Why aren't they out there building more homes left and right? Uh, the reason why is too much over-regulation, right? I've heard of many builders who want to build in California. They, they, they would be building nonstop. They would love it, right? Uh, however, there's too much red tape. They don't want to deal with it. They're like, I ain't building them there. Too much red tape, right? Too much over-regulation. No, I don't want to do anything there, you know? Uh, so people don't want to build. So we're forced to deal with the houses, the housing supply that we have, which unfortunately isn't much, right? Um, not to mention the interest rates, but you can't do anything about the interest rates because they need to bring down inflation. The way you bring down inflation is by keeping the interest rates rising. And right now, uh, at the time of this video, the inflation report came out. It's spring right now, 2024. Uh, inflation report came out. It does not look good, right? They were expecting inflation to come down. No, it's actually gone up a little bit. So really what they need to do to combat that is raise the interest rates again. I hate to say it. Right, raise the interest rates again. It's good for guys like me. It's good for anybody who has some cash sitting around because then you could stick your money in an account and earn a higher interest rate, right? That you're probably not gonna see for a long, long time. This is why some of, uh, much of my money I'm locking up for like at least the next 60 months. That's pretty much the max you can lock in your money at the 5%. I've been taking advantage of that as long as I can because it's 5% and I don't have to risk it. I don't, I can sleep at night. It's not in the stock market where it could go up and down. It's just gonna keep earning that 5% like gravy. I'm just gonna keep getting my six figure income as if I'm working my corporate job, even though I'm not. It's just like free money. Uh, however, yeah, interest rates need to rise right now, right? They need to increase the rate of interest in order to bring down inflation, but they're not gonna do it. Why? Because it's an election year. They wanna get, they're the establishment and they wanna get their establishment politician, who we know who it is, who's in there right now. They wanna keep them in there 
and um, so they have to they're gonna drop interest rates at you know at some point this year to make him look better which does not help the economy it's just gonna make things worse you know so uh, this is why I say you know I mean you you can't uh, you can't do much um, if you're still voting that way. I mean, you're, it's just going to get worse and worse. I, again, I get a, get beyond the whole Republican Democrat thing. Just get beyond that and just start th- start thinking of who wants to grow this beast. Call me God. Who wants to grow this beast larger, where it's more in our lives, it takes away more of our freedoms, it takes away more of our money, you know, and it doesn't give us anything back. Right. If you look at everything they run, I mean, because if you think about it, the government does not produce anything. They don't own a company. They're not producing any products of value. They're not making money. Where do they get their money? They get it from you. Right. They get it. They take it from us. Right. Then they go spend it like drunken sailors. It's insane. The, just the reckless spending that they that they do. The, the, I don't. I mean, it just boggles my mind that anybody would want to make that entity bigger. It's like you having a failing company that's like just bleeding money like water. You already owe thirty trillion, is what is what we owe, right? You already owe all sorts of money. Hmm. Let me see. Let me t- let me spend more money. No, no. You would just want to just file Chapter Eleven bankruptcy and just end the company, right? Start fresh. Give it to the private sector. Private sector has always done better. They won't do that, right? And it's funny because you have all these wokies always calling like these corporations greedy and oil companies greedy, but you never call, you know, the elephant in the room greedy that is taking our money and spending it like drunken sailors. How come they're not greedy, right? If they wanted to, they could give us all like a tax break, couldn't they? But they don't, do they? They just keep taking more and more of your money, right? And then they pass it under the guise of safety or some other nonsense. So, yeah, it makes no sense why anybody would want to make that beast even bigger than it is with more regulations, more red tape, more in our lives, less freedoms. Yes, that's exactly what I want. No, no, we want, we want to decrease the size of it to where it's, it's down to its smallest size possible to what the initial founders of this country intended it to be, right? It's just, you know, like a police department, fire department, and some basic uh, services for the handicapped, or people who cannot care for themselves. That's it. That's it. Okay. We don't need all these entitlement programs, pay off student debt. No, 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 no. Get rid of it all. Like the new uh, president of Argentina. La Fuera. La Fuera. La Fuera. Oh, I love that video. He's like ripping that, ripping apart every like in government program. La Fuera. You know, so much of it is unnecessary, right? Because it's, it's coming from, you know, our, our paychecks, right? But anyway going on and on this this coaching video but uh yeah i mean the inflation should not be deterring you from doing what you need to do right i mean i know everything's a whole lot more expensive than it ever has been at any point um and it sucks right but you need to focus on you right now you need to focus on what you can do for you and your family and don't focus so much on what the establishment is doing because let's be honest that's what they are they're the establishment they are the matrix right They don't want to see you, you know, um, excelling in life. They don't want to see you, you know, making lots of money and, you know, buying big houses and buying land. No, they don't want to see you doing that. They want to see you living like this squabbler's existence. I mean, who was it? Uh, Who was that guy who said it? Klaus Schwab or something said a couple years ago, you will, you will own nothing and you will be happy. Never forget that. It was like, no, screw you. Why don't you give away hypocrite? You give away everything that you own. And let's see how happy you are, right? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, in any of these politicians, like, continuously passing these new bills, spending bills, um, I I think that anytime they pass a new spending bill, if they put in a law requiring that they put in 10% of their net worth into that bill to get it going, uh, I guarantee none of those, they would never put put up a new bill ever, a new spending bill ever again. Right, because now they have to put in. Right? Hey, where's your fair share? Parent, where's your fair share, politician? Nancy Pelosi with your hundred million dollars, you know, made from uh, being one of the most brilliant stock uh, stock traders of all time, living in Presidio Heights in your ten million dollar armed home. Hey, where's your fair share? No, they never call them out. They never call out their own, do they? So, in any case, guys, uh, hopefully this video was helpful. I mean, I kind of went off on many tangents because. 
I have a lot to say about this, but uh, at the end of the day, you should not worry about the, the matrix controlling your life or any new plans they put into place to take away more of your freedoms or more of your, you know, you, you shouldn't be worried about them. You know, just focus on what you need to do to make your situation better because you can't control all the idiots in the world that keep voting them in the power or selecting them in the power, however you want to call it. Um, we can't control that, right? But you can control what you do and you can control. There's always going to be areas where you can take advantage too. Like right now, the interest rate, that's an area where you can take advantage of it. Um, paying 5%, man, it's pretty good. I mean, that's the highest I've seen it in years. So take advantage of that. Or the fact that, um, you know, uh, there may be a crash at some point. There may, may be another economic crash. So you should be putting money away in case that happens, you know, in the next five or 10 years. If there's an economic crash because of all this craziness right now, you should be taking advantage of it. Okay, should be taking advantage of it. Um, if you're waiting for housing prices to go down, probably not gonna happen anytime soon, all right? So if you need to buy a house right now and you have a family or something like that or whatnot, um, as long as it's you're buying in the right neighborhood, you're, it's, it's, it's a place you're going to live in for at least the next five to 10 years, yeah, don't worry about that, right? But um, don't let all of this malarkey going on with the, uh, the matrix cause you to start living your life differently other than what we talked about here, right? Because I want you to do well for yourself. I want you to be able to inflation-proof your life where none of this crap affects you. And you'll be laughing at all those family members around you that voted that way, that are now crying about gas and chicken and you know $18 Big Macs. You'll be able to laugh and go, eh, I can still afford the Big Mac. You can't, because you voted for this. You voted for this. I really wish that in the future, like the AI can come up with, uh, we could have like two presidents, right? And the president that you vote for automatically whenever you go buy something right it's like say you voted for biden so automatically when you go buy gas you have to pay six or seven dollars a tank whereas if you voted for trump you just you still pay the two dollars right? I, mean, I mean why can't we have that right we have two presidents you live by your president's rules and we'll live by our president's rules and we'll see who is doing better as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. It's a nice coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you there in my comments. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out here with my Lamborghini. Just got this car. Very excited about it. We're going to be featuring it a lot more here on the channel in the next coming months, the next coming years. Going to be keeping this for a little while. I still have my DeLorean, by the way. So not selling the DeLorean, but uh, going to be enjoying this car for a little while here. And if you want to see the process of me purchasing this car, just go to my Instagram, my IG, at Matt Cross Official. Follow me on there. i uh, been posting a lot of videos about this car. Been working. I was working on this deal for over two months. Finally got it closed. I was looking on, for, I was on a hunt for this car, looking for this car for over two years trying to find one in Rosa Festo Red, which is the color of this vehicle. Rosa Festo Red is probably hands down one of the rarest colors for the Lamborghini. It's also a $14,880 option. So it's, uh, it's a pretty rare find. It's a fully loaded uh, vehicle. But I'm gonna do a full review on the car uh, here on my channel pretty soon, if it's not up already. So, yeah, follow me at Matt Cross Official. The same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered the Lamborghini. His name is TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you happen to purchase a muscle car, collector car, exotic car, he's your man for delivery. Funny enough, I bought this car um, also sight unseen like I did my DeLorean. Just when you get these deals, you just have to jump on it, right? You just have to jump on it, man. But as always, gentlemen, don't forget to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell as well so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to the channel and you just don't take off on me. So subscribe to the channel. helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this, insane red pill gold pill platinum pill content that i'm teaching you here on my channel best way to do that is becoming a, basically a subscriber of my premium alpha male secrets channel right now it's only a buck 
for the entire first month of premium alpha male secrets content from me so take advantage of it all you need to do is click the link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now just say two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out Woo! So sweet.